Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 21st of 2023 well, it is titled a dark nebulae and star formation in Taurus. So what do we see here? Well, we're looking toward the constellation of Taurus and looking at this very deep image, seeing not just the stars of the constellation, but also all of the dust that is present in this region. And you can see all the different structures that form within the dust, making very interesting patterns that we can see. Now this region is actually relatively close to the Pleiades star cluster and does show signs of star formation. So now when we look at this, the dust is usually the very beginning of star formation. The dust is scattered all over but the places where it clumps together and is the densest are where stars are currently forming. And in fact, there is a very interesting object at the center of this that is also associated with star formation. And that is the star known as T Tauri. Now the T stands for a variable star. For historical reasons, the very first variable star discovered in a constellation is given the letter R, and then S and then T and on through the end of the alphabet, and then starting back over with A but doubling up the letters AA and AB and so on through the alphabet again. So that's just the way they've been named for the first few hundred of the variable stars found in each constellation. So this was the one of the very first in fact the third star discovered to be variable within this. And it's not only the star that's variable it is actually the nebula around it that is also variable. And there are actually variable to different degrees. So they're not exactly the same and matched up as you might expect generally. So there are some differences between the way they vary in brightness. Now the T Tauri stars are associated and are very young stars just recently having formed. So there may still be some instabilities going on there as those stars are settling down before they become an ordinary main sequence star which is where the star will spend the vast majority of its life. So here we get to see not only that T Tauri star but a lot of the dusty region around it where other stars may still be in the process of formation. Some of the thinner dust being illuminated by bright stars that have already formed. And again, not all that far away from the Pleiades star cluster, which is also nearby. So that was our picture of the day for March 21st of 2023. It was titled Dark Nebulae and Star Formation in Taurus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be an unusually distant swirl. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.